Good morning everyone, welcome back for another 2 minutes tips tricks video. Today we're going to talk about dicks. Dicks have been improved a lot. Stick around and I will show you. Thanks for tuning in on my channel guys. So at our site we use 2D tubers for that a lot. Either, either it's a T1, P data or T2. Uh, it's because the radiologists, they really like all the four images. We get in another phase and then get water and fat only with one simple scan, right? The water only is very robust, robust against inhumanity, good fat suppression, but then you have the in phase. The in phase, I always find it somehow blurry, not sharp enough compared to a standard 2D tumor spin echo. So this is just changed now. Currently at the XA50 and with the deep resolve, combine it all together. I find that the in-face is very sharp now, also along with the water roaming. Let me show you some images. Let's go to the scan and I'll show you. All right, currently we are at XA50 with the deep resolve available, but you also get the deep resolve available on XA30, right? So let's go here and check uh, my exam card right here. So we go to the Siemens and I will show you the Dixon right here now. We go to the C-spine, just choose a simple one. And then we take a T2, uh, you can see the distance right there. We open that in edit mode, open the sequence. And let's go to the contrast and you can see the distance right there. And the next thing you can see the acceleration mode. You have the what is called deep resolve. Either turn it on or off. Whenever you turn it on, you only have the possibilities to choose the DR, which is the gain and the sharp. Not the latest one, which is the boost, is not available yet on 2D Tube Spin Echo Dixon. Hopefully, in the future, I personally hope so. So, you have the option right there. So, turn that on and you will get sharp images. It's as easy as that. And then let's go for a standard 2D Tube Spin Echo. This is a stir. Just open that one and I will show you the difference here. The deep resolve, whenever you turn the deep resolve on, it automatically goes to what they call the, the boost. That is the newest one. So the stir is available with the boost and you can see it's automatically go into the boost. And then you have the possibilities to choose the older version, which is the gain and the shock, right? All right, so let me show you some of the images. And upper row here, the deep resolve is on, low row is off. So as you can see here, uh, this is the in phase, the water row is the same down here. Let's look at this in phase first with the deep resolve on. Let's look at the small structures right here. We can see it get a little bit blurry. The blurriness is what I'm used to on the older software without the deep resolve, but the water only is okay. So the doctor said, okay, we can use that since we get a good uh, fat suppression, you know, and a free in phase, but currently it's much sharper. So it's a win situation right here. You can see uh, over here, the water only, and it seems a little bit blurry down there with the deep resolve off. So this is another case and at the left side right here the deep resolve is off and the deep resolve is on. So this is a T1 tube spin echo. You can see the in phase right here, water only. In phase, water only. Take a look at the structures right here. Deep resolve off, deep resolve on. It's much, much sharper, right? This is exactly what I want whenever I want to have a good in phase images. So let's look at the water only. You can see here it's a little bit blurry. With the deep resolve on, let's get sharp. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. It's an informative video. If you like this video, do not forget to push on the like button and hit the subscribe, hit on the notification bell so you get a ding ding next time I post a video. I will catch up with you in my next video. Peace out.